What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Rank Double Ladder with this Life Orb Hustle Draco Zone team. So if you're excited or new to the channel, make sure you support me by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel or just comes out and watch them. Seriously, it goes a long way. It really does. But rocking out on the scene, we got Corviknight in the top left corner with that Lumberry, so it can't really be burned or put to sleep. In only one turn, we'll cheat that berry and pop it off. And with Tailwind, Brave Bird for stab, Iron Head for stab, and we can also taunt Pokemon such as like Wimscott or other Tailwind users. Then we got Draco Zolt, big boy right here. If you guys ever played Durant, this Draco Zolt kind of works just as Durant because it has the same ability and that same item with Dragon Claw and Bulk Beat for stab, Aerial Ace as a Dynamax move to actually boost your speed, and Protect as just a Protect move to kind of coverage us. But he's going to be our big boy, probably going to Dynamax him every single match, most likely. If not, they, they, we, hit, we run into a problem or something because this is our main dog. He's going to be dominating on the field. We got Incineroar also on the scene with that Assault Fest Intimidate. Normal moveset with him with Flare Blitz. You turn Darkest Larry and Fake Out. We're just going to be able to pivot, lower attack, go again, Fake Out, make everyone flinch, and then pivot again. Just rinse, repeat. You guys know the deal with Incineroar. We got Liquid Voice Primarina with that Expert Belt. Hyper Voice will actually turn to water with Liquid Voice. Energy Ball for coverage, protect, and Moon Blast for big old stab damage against those dragons. Then we got Clip Fairy down here as a nice little coverage Pokemon with that Evil Light, the friend guard to reduce damage on allied Pokemon. It also has Follow Me, Icy Wind, and Lower speed and helping hand actually help do some big damage then in the final spot yo we got extra i love having extra especially as like a front end or back end pokemon he's just so versatile and you can use him anywhere he has iron head high horsepower and eq for stab and then protect with that focus sash and mold breaker so we can hit through different abilities guys if you want to use this team for yourself rent the code is at the bottom of the screen but let's hop into some battles and try to get some wins with this draco soul team Rank wise, we are sitting at top 5,000, and I don't really use Draco Soul too much, but I have a feeling I'm really going to like this team. We're going up against another top VGC team right here with this Gengar, the Hitmon top, the Alcrame right here. It's a Decorate Alcrame. I believe that's a weakness policy or something attacking Togekiss. Like, I, I'm pretty sure it's not like that, that normal follow me Togekiss over here. But, okay, who are we going to lead? Who are we going to lead? I know that Gengar can roll a Trick Room if he really wants to, but my Pokemon are rather slow. And I think might be Sash. He might be Sash. I kind of want to roll. Do I really want to roll Incineroar? I kind of don't. But he could go follow me and then just go into different things. Uh, let's go. Actually, let's go right here. In Corviknight. Let's go Draco Zolt into Corviknight. Do I have Incineroar in the back end? I mean, who's this physical attacker? Him on top, but he has all first turn priority moves. So, eh, And it does have fake out. Do I bring Incineroar? I don't really think I'd bring Incineroar. We could go with this uh, Liquid Voice right here. Has a lot of coverage moves as well. Hmm. I think Extra Drill definitely comes in that back end. And then do we just have this uh, Clefairy? No, I think we got Primarina just to have that extra coverage Pokemon. Just chilling in the back end. But, yo, let's go. Let's try to get a win in our first battle. Oh, my God, yo. I'm ready. I, I have a feeling I'm going to like this Draco's little team. Just because I love that Durant team with that Hustle and Life Orb. And I feel like Draco's little is just going to work the same way. I actually went up against one of them. Was it in my last video? It might have been in my last video or on stream. Something like that. But I literally burned this thing and it was still hitting like a truck. It was still hitting like a truck. Like, it wasn't, like, just one tap of me, but it was doing, like, a ridiculous amount of damage. And it was, like, minus one. I was like, bruh, this thing is a beast. But he goes out Kareme with that Clefairy. Okay, I'm cool with it. Do I still Dynamax turn one? He could go for a follow me. I could Dynamax turn one. So, what do I... Oh, no, isn't this a G-Max out Kareme? This is a G-Max out Kareme. So, it does have a Fairy move, which is rather scary. Which is rather scary. I could drop back. Or I could Iron Head. I feel like we already have the speed. I'm going to actually Dynamax here. I think I Dynamax and go into a Max Lightning. I feel like our speed is just fine. I feel like we do outspeed this. He could go for a Follow Me. And I could just go for a... Uh, I could Taunt that. I could Taunt this uh, Clefairy. I really could if I want to. But I do that. Because it's got to be Follow Me, right? And that thing is Weakness Policy. Yeah, that's Weakness Policy up man. Yeah, let's go here. Let's go here. I think he's going to G-Max. I really do think he's going to G-Max. I'm going to Dynamax it as well. Yeah, that's a G-Max out Kremmy. I'm starting to remember to see now. And it has a bunch of coverage moves. It has a fire move, a grass move. It has that, uh, the fairy move. And then I think a guard. Something along those lines. But we're going to Dynamax here. He's probably going to go for a follow me. I'm going to taunt it just in case this thing does actually end up eating it up. But maybe I should just went to an Iron Head or something along those lines. This thing does have friend guard. Oh, he does not Dynamax. And he goes for a follow me. I'm totally cool with it. We'll taunt it and it'll eventually have to struggle or, uh, go out. Unless it has an icy one. I'm not too sure. Max Lightning's going to come through. Yeet, we'll set the electric train. Boop. Big old damage. Big old damage there. And we'll be able to taunt it. Um, this thing gonna go for another follow me. That's kind of scary. I mean, no, it cannot if we taunt it. 
Unless taunt fails. Hold up. Hold up, jeans. No, it, it shouldn't fail. We should be able to taunt it yet. Beautiful. Okay, so we taunt that thing up. We're chilling. Clefairy's getting angry. Um, I can definitely just kill it next turn. And now Kermit goes for a calm mind here. Okay, now Kermit goes for a calm mind. Yes, this is exactly what it has. It has calm mind. I know that now. Okay, right, so he's going to boost his special attack and his special defense. All right, we're just going to have to start teen off on that thing. Let's go Max Lightning over on you. That thing is taunted, so he cannot hit. Uh, and then do I set up a Tailwind? I could set up a Tailwind for the rest, but I think I'm going to go into a nice little Iron Head here. Because that thing has to move. He has to move. I can set up a Tailwind any other turn I really want to. He's going to withdraw. Exactly. So beautiful. We get that get that free turn right here. And is he going to protect? Is he going to guard? How's he going to play this one? I think he's going to Dynamax and potentially guard here. Let's see what happens. We'll intimidate pops out here, but still, we're going to do big damage. Oh, wait. Is he not? We got Mirror Armor. Is he not the uh, G-Max in here? If he doesn't, like, he's done for. Okay, he is. Okay. He definitely is. Um, if he guards, that will be the smart play. He gets that Incineroar in, which is huge. Or not Incineroar, Arcanine with that Intimidate, which is actually huge for us, considering we're both physical attackers. But big ol' Ice Cream Cake coming in hot here. Coming in hot. Let's see what we can do. Please do not guard. Please do not guard. That would be awesome if you, do not, if you don't guard. This is not awesome. We're doubling into this. We'll go for Max Lightning. Drop this on it. Boop! Do a decent amount of damage. Jeez! See what I'm talking about? That thing's an absolute unit. I'll be able to get this iron head off. Ye take it out. Come on. Oh! Mmm! So close. And we trigger its weakness policy. So whoever he's going after, he's going to take us out here. He's 100% going to take us out. His policy pops through. And G Max Finale is going to come through and take us out. And he's going to get some HP back, which sucks. Which totally sucks. We were so close to taking out. If that Intimidate did not come through, we were chilling just fine. We were chilling just fine. But it's alright. Another Iron Head will be able to take that thing out, so I think we're cool, right? Another Iron Head should be able to take that out, and we have the speed advantage. Who can I go into now? I could go into Clefairy. Or I could- no. Oh, I don't even have Clefairy. We're going into my Liquid Voice right here. My Liquid Voice girl right here. We can roll into this. I can I can just pop it. I'm just going to uh, go Hyper Voice. D deal some damage to that Arcanine. And I'm definitely going to double into this, uh, this Alcrema here, because we need it out the way. Like I said, we have the speed. There you go. Go ahead. Wait, waste one of my turns. This liquid voice is going to do mean damage. I'm going to go for a flare blitz over on the Corviknight. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Corviknight goes down. I don't want that tailwind, but this is fine. We got Exodil. Exodil is going to be able to come in here, outspeed, do some work. Jeez, a recoil. So we might be able to just dump on that uh, Arcanine here. Let's go, Primarina. Show him what's up. Show him what's up. Give it to him. Yay. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, we got the speed. An Iron Head will be able to take out this Alcreme here. So, Alcreme is done for. Alcreme is done for because we got my boy Extra. And then, who is this person's final Pokemon? Actually, who do we take out so far? Now, he has two more. He has that low Clefairy here, who will probably just go for a follow me. Um, do we see a Hyper Voice taking this thing out? That's my question. We need Hyper Voice to take this thing out. Or I could just protect and go for an EQ and get the double kill. Hmm. Or I'll just go Hyper Voice here, and then I can, uh... I protect? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Because I know my extra is going to outspeed. That's a fact. That's a total fact. So we got to hope that we can take out the Alcrema here. I mean, I'll go into it, but he's got to go for follow me, right? Got to be a fact, right? Yeah, follow me comes out here. I wish that my what's called would go first. My Primarina would, but it's not. So Iron Head's going to have to, well, take out this. And this Hyper Voice is going to have to come up clutch. Come on, Primarina. Come on. You got this. Do him dirty. This is basically for the win here. Come on. Ooh. Ah. Mmm. That one hurts. That one hurts. That hurts. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. But because we have EQ, we still have our Focus Sash as well. And this thing's low health. So we can EQ. Definitely take out that Alcreme the next turn. And it really depends on who his final mon is. Or is that? That's not all of his mons. So he took out the Fairy, the Arcanine, and now just Alcreme. So it's a 2v1 situation. Man, that one hurts. That one hurts. Al Kremi is just living. It's just living by the skin of its teeth. Hit on top has fake out. Oh my lord. I might, I'm just going to protect this turn. I got to protect this turn, right? That's a straight fact. I got to protect. I have to protect. This hit on top has fake out. So protect's got to come through. And then I'll EQ next turn. Oh, this is scary. This is so scary. Come on. Come on, Jeans. You got this. <laughs> Here comes the protect. Come on, extra clutch it up. Big out's gotta come out here, yeah. And now Kremi's probably going for that mystical fire. I know I I uh I outspeed that out Kremi. This thing has a bunch of first turn priority moves like sucker punch, bull punch, all that good stuff. But I'm I'm thinking we could do we could do some work here. Let's get it. Let's go EQ. 
we outspeed in this game. If we outspeed that hit on top, well, it, we won't. Like I said, he has first turn priority moves, but it really depends how much damage he's doing here. Because Alcreme is dead here. EQ comes through. Give him the Klapskis. Alcreme gone. Oh my god, that thing actually ate it up. Because our Intimidate. This is so tough. But oh, this thing has close combat. No! We are sashed. We are sashed. We need like a crit or something. Or we can go for the Iron Head and go for the flinches. Come on, your boy's got this. Oh, yo, his defense is down. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay, okay. Okay. I know, he has first turn pri priority moves. Oh my god, dude, this is so whack. Never mind, we lost this one, didn't we? I could protect and see if we can eat one up. Hold up, I'm protecting. <laughs> Come on. Yo, legit, what won him the game, if he does win this game, is going to be that, what's it called? It's the, what's it called? Oh, he's going for sucker punches. What's going to win him the game, if he does win this, is that Intimidate on that uh, Arcanine. So do I predict him going into another sucker punch? Yeah, watch this. Watch me predict him going into another sucker punch. And I'm gonna just let this protect fail. Watch, 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 sucker punch. Yes! Yes, sucker punch fails. I'm getting a little bit more HP back. <laughs> now I can protect again and get even more HP back. Oh no, I cannot. Okay, so protect doesn't really matter here. <laughs> Alright. Iron head. Let's go. His defense is low. Miss! Eat it! No! No! Oh my god, that was actually a really good match. GG to that guy. I'm telling you, that Intimidate won him the game because we weren't able to kill that El Creme. We got a Sense Scourge rolling into battle number two. You never see Sense Scourge, so I'm feeling like it's a G-Max Sense Scourge. Probably, possibly, he's probably got super luck on that Tokus, which is scary because you know those crits are coming in hot. He's got the Dragapult, the Sandstorm team. Okay, how should I roll out in this? He has a lot of physical attackers if the Dragapult is physical. So I think Incineroar is a safe lead to go in here with that Intimidate drop. Unless he goes Togekiss uh, Meow Stick. That, who is that? Is that Meow Stick? I, mean, I might be getting confused with something, <laughs> but okay. I think Incineroar is a safe lead. I think what's called also works pretty well here, that Pre Marina can do some wonders. I could go here. I could set up a Tailwind if I really want to as well. So I am Steel. I think I do uh, actually set up this Tailwind. I say we go uh, here. These two. And then we go there and here, I think. I think that's the call. I think that is the final call. I think that works so well. That top, This top end Pokemon. Because we got we got the big damage dealers with our Special Attacker and Physical. With our Draco Soul and our Primarina. We can Tailwind set up. We can Taunt. We can do all that. And then we have the Intimidate and the Fake Outs. All that good stuff coming in with that Instant Order. And that Assault Vest. So for any uh, Special Attackers. But hopefully that uh, Dragapult is Special Attacking. I kind of hope he's physical now as I have the Intimidate, so we're kind of chilling here, we're kind of chilling here, but let's go, let's get it guys, I haven't said this yet, but yo, you guys should definitely come hang out on my streams, June 25 on Twitch, if you haven't followed me over there, like, what are you doing, I say it in every video, it is tons of fun, catch some more content with, or from me, and come hang out, you can chat it up in the chat, I always respond to people, I'm always hanging out, we do viewer battles, Animal Crossing stuff where I invite villagers over, and we push rank ladder, so definitely come hang out, have some fun, it goes Titar and Meows. Meow Meow over here. A little bit of Meow Meow action. And Sandstorm is going to get rolling. The Intimidate is actually going to help out tremendously. I could set up a Tailwind. I really don't want to proc a Weakness Policy right here. That's a thing. I don't want to proc a Weakness Policy. So I'm definitely going to fake out Meow Meow. And I'm going to set up a Tailwind. A Tailwind! Let's go. Let's get Tailwind in here. And I could just uh, drop a quick little fake out here. But I'm not going to really drop it on the T-Tar. Cause I'm not too worried about Titar. I'm more so worried about this Meow Meow over here doing something crazy. Yeah, yeah, you protect, buddy. You protect. Go ahead. Go ahead, my dude. We're gonna fake you out. Mwah. Mwah. Get spiced up. Get spiced up. Tailwind coming out here. There we go. Okay, so now what? The, now what is the call? I really like. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. The boys gotta think. Okay, so I really want to go into, do I Iron Head? I think I'm going to Iron Head over here. I really don't want to practice things weakness policy, that's a thing. So I think I'm just going to go like this and double into you. I, I'm, I'm feeling like the Seatar is either Lumberry or weakness policy. But we have him on Intimidate, so I really don't want to just do anything just yet to him. So I'd rather just go after this, the Meow Meow Cat Garfield over here. <laughs> Yawn's going to come through. Okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I do have a Lumberry, which is awesome. So Iron Head's coming through. 
Get out of my face. And we're going to U-turn out. We're going to do a quick little pivot. We gon' pivot, baby. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, Buffett will at least take it down. Buffett will at least take it down. And who do I go into? That's the real question. I want to go into the Zolt. I feel like they're targeting, targeting me down here. I'm super fast. Mm, what do I feel like this thing's going into? A rock move? Maybe on my Corviknight? Or dark move? Mm. We say he hits me? There he went for his yawn. I say we give it a sec. I say we give it a sec. Let's see what this T-Tar actually does. Let's see what this T-Tar actually does here. We're going to get out this uh, Primarina in the Tailwind. Because the Hyper Voice can do good. Okay, Rock Slide. That's how I'm, I'm cool with it. Should be able to eat up pretty fine here. Yeah. Beautiful. The only thing I really don't like about this Corviknight is it doesn't have Roost. And I really love Roost. I really like to pester and just Roost out. But we have a Tailwind set up. I can see the extra drill coming out here. And if the extra drill does come out here... I feel like the safest call would be to actually uh, swap to Corviknight, get the get the what's called back in here, the Incineroar. No, it goes Scent Scorch. The Liquid Voice could be very good. I could double up. Mm, we do have Speed Advantage. I'm going to double into this thing. I'm just going to go Hyper Voice into this. So, Brave Bird into Hyper Voice and do some big damage. He's going to whistle all the T-Tar. Who are you going back into? Who are you going into? Who are you going into? Togekiss, that's totally fine. Are you Dynamaxing? Are you protecting? He is. He's G Max. And this has got to be a G Max sense switch, right? I should be able to outspeed. And this Hyper Voice and this Brave Bird should be able to do some big, big damage on this. So, good call for me to go into the what's it called? Go into the Primarina instead of that uh, Draco Zolt. But yo, G Max sense switch. I used this like once way, way back in the day. This thing is dope looking. I love how it looks. Alright, let's see how we do here. Brave Bird. Big old damage. Big old damage, baby. And here we coming in with the Hyper Voice. Yeet! Take it out! Bang! Let's go! Let's get it, yo! Bye-bye, G-Max! See you later, Sent the Scourge! Ah! I'm an animal! Who wants it? Who wants it next? Yo, we on! We are on right now! No more G-Max for this dude! He's gotta go into x or something along those lines. Sleep comes out here. Nah, son, yo! Give me that Lumberry popping off here! His Meow's dead, he has T-Tar, and this is left. And no G-Max. Game's over! Game is over! And I have my Draco Zolt in the back. I have my Zolty Poo in the back. I have the speed advantage here. I have Hyper Voice rolling out here. I'm just going to Iron Head over on here. And I'm Hyper Voice. Let's get it, yo. Let's go. Big old match here. Helping Hand comes out here. I should have doubled into that. I totally should have doubled into that. Because he's going to try to drop a Rock Side and do some big damage. But Iron Head's going to come out here. Not for Beery Berry. Potential KO? Close. Close, but nothing. No, 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 no. Hyper Voice is going to take it out anyway, which is awesome. And it does big, big damage to the T-Tar. And he's just going to drop like a rock slide or something. I knew he was weakness policy. Yo, good call for me not to go into that hit too early. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, baby. He goes for a rock slide. Um, someone might go down here. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Or both of them will go down. Jeez. Helping hand definitely did some work, but I'm fine. Do I, do I even Dynamax here? Do I even Dynamax? That one does peter out. We still both these Pokemon should be able to outspeed. Actually, maybe not the Incineroar, but Incineroar is gonna get the Intimidate off anyway. Yo, we chilling. We are chilling just fine. Just dang. Your boy murked. Your boy murked. All right, Zolt comes out here with the Incineroar. Intimidate drops that attack. So doo doo Titar. But well, now he's only plus one. He's plus one. Uh, let's just go into a bulk beat stab. I'm not even gonna die, Max. This match is over, and I'm gonna just fake it out. He's gonna protect. <laughs> He's gonna protect and try to win this game. I told you. <laughs> should I be worried? Should I Dynamax? <laughs> like, should I Dynamax here? I don't know. <laughs> no, we should be fine. No more Sandstorm. I don't even think I Dynamax. Actually, I could end up missing. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna drop this back lightning on this and win this game. <laughs> oh, you turn out of here. Bro, okay, GG this guy. Because I, I just realized I had Hustle on this, which Hustle uh, boosts damage, but raises your chance or lowers your accuracy. So you're going to miss more attacks, but when they land, they will do big damage. That's why Dynamax in this Draco Soul or the Durant with the same ability is so good, because you cannot miss Dynamax attacks. So you're doing the Hustle ability damage and with no chance of missing. But we'll Dynamax just, just to finish this one off. And then we'll, then we'll go into Max Lightning and say GG to this guy. See ya, Bill! Let's go. Let's go, yo. Dominated that game. Played that one actually really, really well. The, the main, like, change of that game, change of pace was going into that Primarina over that Draco's ult because that Liquid Voice just did absolute work. But, yo, 
like I said, GG. Let's have a match number three and try to get a winning record for today's video. This team's looking a little funky. I don't really know what to think of it, but I could definitely see a, maybe a Darmanitan lead and maybe alongside with that extra drill, bringing in that Conclador in the back, but who should I go? Who should I lead? You might bring that Alcremie or that Primarina as a lead. Thinking I'm going to go Draco Assault, so maybe I shouldn't go Draco Assault turn one. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should go Primarina turn one. I feel like Primarina has a lot of coverage here. I could go Corviknight as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go bang, bang here. Um, I think I bring Draco Assault in the back for sure. And then do I get Clefairy or Extra Drill? I kind of want Extra Drill. Like, Extra Drill actually works out very well here. Let's actually uh take you two out. Let's go Corviknight, Extra Drill. Bring Draco Assault as third. And then fourth spot is either... Mm, Primarina could be nice here. Primarina could be nice as it has that coverage, that grass coverage move for her. Her Primarina has some water moves for uh, that extra drill. But like Incineroar does work. I, th I feel like I bring Incineroar in that back end just for to have that fake out. And that Flare Blitz can do um, some big old damage onto that Darmanitan. Same thing on that extra drill late game. Or I can just uh, go with a fake out and start flinching up from there. But instead of doing like hashtags and stuff like I normally do, like at the uh, third and final battle, I'm actually going to start putting question of the day here. So instead of doing hashtags, if you guys just answer question of the day, that lets me know who hangs out and who sticks around on the video. So for question of the day in this video, let me know what is your favorite Pokeball just on looks, just on how the Pokeball looks. I honestly love the original Pokeball. I love just how the original Pokeball looks, and I like the Ultra Ball. I think Ultra Ball and the Pokeball are two of my favorite. But it sounds kind of generic, but that's what I like. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys like. Um, Do I go Tailwind turn one? Gotta watch out for maybe the potential ally switch. I feel like we outspeed both these mons regardless, but they could taunt this thing. You know, we're just going to go into a... I can uh, set up something another turn. I'm just going to go into an Iron Head over on you. Do I just Iron Head? Or I could go for an EQ. EQ could do some big old damage that has no effect onto the Corviknight. Yeah, we're going to go for an EQ here. I have the nice little Levitate. E oh, 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 bruh. What are you doing? He's Dynamax and Primarina. Okay. I feel like an ally switch is popping off here. I'm totally cool with you, uh, Dynamax and Primarina. I have my Draco Zolt. I have my Draco Zolt. I should set up the Tailwind. I, that's what I should have done. I should have set up the Tailwind, but I think we're fine. Could quash me. That could be a thing. I'm gonna go for a trip. Hey! Hey! Don't you dare take off my Sash. Don't you dare do it! No! Yo, he got my Sash, dude! He's gonna dump on my actual. EQ comes out here, does some nice damage all around. Iron Head comes out, you, you, make it flinch somehow. Make a Dynamax Pokemon flinch. <laughs> Guys are gonna come out here, set the rain, like I'm cool with it. The thing I'm totally scared of is if he goes Quash, right? If he goes Quash onto my Draco Zolt, like I really wanna pull out the Draco Zolt, then I don't at the same time. Like I need to get rid of that, uh, that Sableye. That's a fact, that is a fact. I feel like if I set up a, uh, this is terrible. I'm honestly sitting in a tough spot. Intimidate comes out here. Like, I'm gonna have to let my Incineroar go here if I wanna win this match. If I can get the Sableye out here, I feel like we have this win in the back. If I can go Tailwind here, and then go into a Darkest Lariat over on the Sableye, and potentially pick up the KO, I'm hoping, and then have that Primarina dump me out, and then Dynamax my Drake Result and roll off from there. I feel like that's our only way out of this to win this game. Because say I went into the, what's it called? Just say I went into the Draco's Ult here. Right, like, people are probably saying, yo, Jeans, why didn't you just go into the Draco's Ult Dynamax and dump on the Primarina? This is exactly why. This thing has Quash. This thing has Quash. He probably would have Quashed me, and then I would have went down. And then just, he would have just went for the Max Starfall and took me out with that big old stab damage. But now I got the Tailwind up. Now we're chilling. We can hopefully take out the Sableye here. I, like, I have to take out the Sableye. Mm, we do not. That's some tough news. Guy's just going to take me out. Now I have to guard and then take that Sableye out. <laughs> Okay, so that, that was that was alright. Like I'm telling you, match is still not open. Like we're still chilling just fine. Get the Zold out here. He's gonna quash me. A straight fact. And then I need to take out that Sableye. Like Sableye's gotta go. Sableye's gotta go. Gotta go, yeah. Alright, Iron Head into Sableye. And then I'm just going to go into a max card. I have to max card. I can take out that Primarina turn one with, with this Tailwind setup. Ooh, it's coming down. It is coming down. This thing's gonna be able to one tap out. So just say I get two turns. Just say I get two turns. I'll be able to take out the Primarina and another Pokemon, and I can bring it out to a potential 2v1. Because we have the speed advantage all day with this Tailwind. We have the speed advantage all day with this Tailwind. 
Uh, Draco's all is gonna have to come up here. We're gonna have to guard. No way you read the guard. No way you read the guard. That, I, I, I'm thinking he's just gonna quash into me. Yeah. 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 This is why. This is what's up. Ironhead, take him out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him going. All right. Table eye going. Please, Primarina. Go into me. You gotta go into me. Starfall. Yeah. Bang. This is exactly why I did not go into Draco's ult. Turn one. Is that? That's all of his turns. That's all Primarina's turns. I'm done with her. I'm not dealing with her anymore. I gotta get her out the way. And extra drill does come out here. The extra drill does roll out here. I'm cool with it. I'm just going to drop a nice little iron head. I think it could be Sash. It could be definitely Sash. It could be 100% Sash. I could set this electric terrain. Hmm. How many turns left in the tailwind? That's the real question. Two? I should have two. Okay, two. So two turns left in the tailwind. Um. I'm gonna go for this iron head. Maybe get a flinch on that. I have to go for the lightning. I have to go for the lightning. Get him! Get him! Lightning comes out. Primarina's gone. Okay, so Primarina down for the count. It's coming down, folks. It is coming down. We have one more turn left in the tailwind as well. And one more Dynamax turn. Oof. Oof. Like I said, like I said, this match is not over yet. I just need to get that Sableye out the way. I said this from the beginning. I'm like, I, I mean, I know I'm going to go down these two Pokemon. But we're just going to see what happens. I know my Corviknight does outspeed. Can we get the flinch? That could be honestly huge. Show it to me. Show it to me. Critical hit. Everybody else gets the flinches. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! A crit and a flinch. I'll take that luck. I will take that luck. Even though I don't really get it often. It goes through Conkledor. So, um, I'm guessing Conkledor protects. Do I say Conkledor protects? I just Brave Bird into it. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm Brave Bird into I'm Brave Bird into that. I'm saying Conkledor protects. Could Wormwind? Wormwind could be huge. Or could Airstream. I think Worm Wind's our best bet. Do some damage on the extra drill. I'm saying the Conqueror protects. This is why I do not want to go into the Conqueror. I'm saying the Conqueror does protect. Extra drill Are oh, we seeing a double protect? Please show me a double protect. Okay, okay, that's <laughs> We'll drop their attack with this uh with this right here. I still feel like we have some speed here. I still feel like we have some speed. But we'll drop both their attack here. That's some that's not bad damage. That's not bad damage at all. We'll drop both their attack. Minus one on each of them. That, that's totally fine by me. That's totally fine. Then we have this iron head that's going to get blocked. The question is, how is this going to play out? Like, how's the speed go now? So we don't have a tailwind set up. I feel like I still just throw attacks out. I feel like I still go into Brave Bird over there. Right? I feel like I still have to go Brave Bird over into the, uh, the Conqueror side. I could protect because they gotta, they gotta be going after me. Right, they gotta be going after my Draco's ult. Let's see, so I'm gonna protect here. I'm gonna try to get this Brave Bird off. My extra, or my Corp Knight should be able to eat pretty well. It's a big defensive tank. And they're both minus one. So come on, baby! High horsepower. There's the block. Nice little protect by me. They gotta be doubling up into me, right? The Brave Bird comes out here. This might actually just KO. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, big old damage. And you gotta be coming into me with the Drain Punch, right? Am I correct on this one? Game punch. No, you... Come across that way. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, now, now it's getting scary. Now it's getting a little scary here. Do I go for the Tailwind setup? Hmm. I'm gonna go Iron Head here. Oh, dude, I have no idea. I think I go for this Tailwind. This is tough. I think I have to do a little bit of damage over here. I think I have to do damage. I feel like I... Uh... Alright, who's protecting? This is the real question. I think I just drop a Dragon Call into this thing. I feel like the Conqueror is going to protect. I think I'm going to go Brave Bird into it. Right? Conqueror goes Mach Punch. Can we eat? Mmm! High Horsepower. Ah! Come on, yo. We survive? Oh no, we died of life orb. What you mean? Ah! Oh my god, we would have won. We would have won the game. Mmm, my god. He didn't go for that mock punch. I thought he was going to protect. Oh my lord, yo. GG to that guy. He made the right play to get himself that win. We got one and two with this team.
What a final match right there. I told you guys, if we could just get that table eye out the way, we have a shot. We came this close. That mock punch legit won him the game. I thought he was protected. I made the wrong call. He made the right call. He ended up getting that win in the end. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.